Beat me! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is Robbie's And you guys absolutely love my last video where I made this Freddy animatronic, as well as the masks that I repainted. So today, I'm gonna be repainting these Chica and Foxy masks. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is grab our Dremel tool, and we're gonna cut his teeth out. I'm also gonna go ahead and cut these teeth out. Oh yes, a toothless Chica. They're defenseless now. What are they gonna do? Gnaw on me to death? Now I'm gonna take a little pie tin action, try and cut it in half. Now I just have to cut it to kind of fit into Chica's mouth. Maybe cut it down even more. I'm gonna flip Chica's mask over. It's gonna fit it to the general shape. Gonna cut it down even more. Move them together a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. Right on there. I'm gonna use a little Sharpie kind of push it down because I don't want to use my fingers. I've learned my lesson. I'm not burning myself this time. The heat goes straight through the metal and it burns me right up. Indirect hot glue burn. Oh, it ended up happening anyway. Oh yes, I love the smell of hot burning hot glue fumes in the morning, Bobby. Nothing better, Bobby. Where are my hot glue fumes, Bobby? I feel like that reference is probably way outdated. How many of you guys actually watch King of the Hill? So far, not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom jaw as well. Just like before, do it again. Oh yes, there we go, not bad. I'm also gonna add a little plate right here to the top part. Yeah, that's good. good, that's good. Ah, that's hot. Oh no, I glued to the table. Oh no! Give her no nice. Okay, come on. Aha! Uh -huh. Chica, it looks like you have something in your nose. Look, I know we're friends, and you can pick your nose, and you can pick your friends, but you can't pick your friend's nose, but I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna glue this bottom part together as well. Just get it all up in the nooks and crannies. Right together. Honestly, my main takeaway from this is that uh, Sharpie is a very versatile tool. Now I'm gonna make another plate for the bottom jaw. An outline should do perfect. There I go, just using my Sharpie again. Honestly, Sharpie, what can't you do? This feels very crooked to me, and maybe I shouldn't have done it over the easy foil side. I'm just gonna redo it. No big deal. This is for everyone who tells me to just cut it out. Because I'm doing it right now. Oh, yes. Okay, she is fit and ready to be glued on. Classic Robbie going way too heavy on the glue. Oh, that's nice. I want to make the inside of Chica's mouth black to kind of match the uh, nightmare Chica. At least uh, this version, anyway. I'm kind of going off of this. So I'm just going to mask everything off that I don't want covered in paint. Oh, yes. Now that these are all masked off, it's time to paint them. There we go. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> time to unmask it and see how I did. Very nice. That's pretty scary, right? So now I'm gonna go in and start adding some teeth. These are just some acrylic nails that I bought on Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and mark where I'm gonna add the teeth. Break out the old X-Acto knife. I'm just gonna shove it on and then I might actually use some slightly smaller teeth. Yeah, these ones are fine. We don't want them to be too big. And then we get our hot glue gun and just glue the teeth in place. I should probably use a lower heat setting because I think I'm starting to melt the teeth as soon as I put the hot glue on them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it into the lower setting and that should do. Very good now. I did the first layer. Look how much more the white sticks out on the black. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the second row and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the top. And I would say that turned out pretty good. I would say that, but this turned out awful. Just kidding, this actually did turn out fine. So now I have to attach the two pieces together somehow. I think what I'm gonna do is hold it exactly how I want it so it's nice and perfect. I'm gonna get some hot glue. Just stick that hot glue on there. Carefully and seamlessly. Boom. Wow, okay, perfect. I'm just gonna go in and kind of like also clean up the edges. I think I'm gonna add a little piece of metal right here to really just help hold it in place. Oh yes, boobity boop. Very nice, very nice. No, it fell apart. Just like my real life hopes and dreams of opening a Pokemon in real life. When the heck are we gonna advance that far in science and technology? Oh, this is so hot. Oh my gosh. Well, that really, really worked. This turned out fantastic so far. Now I wanna make it look like he has a little bit of battle damage on his head. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get a little piece of tin foil like this, flip it over. I'm just gonna glue this bad boy on. Oh, that's very hot. That's very hot. Push that right in there. Very nice, very nice. Now I'm gonna get my rotary tool. I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the right side. Go ahead and grab a little light and then put it underneath so I know exactly where to cut. Light pack, see how it's dark right there? That's where the tin foil is. Now we're just gonna go in and cut it out. Dang, yeah, that looks really good. I actually really like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with uh, maybe some of the feathers up here and just kind of do that all around it. Oh, there's yellow dust literally everywhere. That looks very well battle damaged, if you ask me. One other thing I do want to do is uh, black out her eyes. It's very important to wear a mask whenever you use a Dremel like this and you're chipping away plastic. You really don't want to inhale all this dust. 
This is definitely the Sharpie to use. That is uh, kind of terrifying. I'm gonna put a little bit here. So now I'm gonna get a small dish of water, as well as a little bit of paint. Oh, I tripped it all over everything. Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. Put a little bit of this in, mix that up real good. And then using this brush, we're just gonna, we're gonna make it look like it's kind of withered. And that's gonna add some texture to it and really make it feel like it's just been in storage forever. You know what I mean? Go ahead and maybe do some of this guy. Yeah, that's looking pretty terrifying. So now we're gonna add the eyes. She has a blue and a red eye, but I only really have uh, blue and green. So I guess we're just gonna use these for now. Real easy, real peasy, real lemon squeezy. Straight from the vine. Wait, lemons don't grow on vines. The lemon is nice and squeezy, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that fit in perfect. The other one, how's that look? Oh, wow. Oh, yes, and there we have it. A way spookier Chica mask. And the eyes even glow. Oh, let me turn off this light. Oh, wow, yeah, that's terrifying. I definitely wouldn't want to be alone in a room with this mask. But as you can see, it turned out absolutely horrifying. A major improvement on the last mask. This is fantastic. Now let's go show Tori Dabransky. Tori Dabransky, Tori Dabransky. Hello. Check out this cool FNAF mask I Ooh, made. Ooh, that's very scary. <laughs> oh my god. That's a power pack for it. I like his little eyeballs. Oh. Here, try it on. How do I do that? I promise you won't get stuck. Oh wow, you look terrifying, Tori DeBrantz. Wow, look at that! Oh wow. <laughs> I'm just holding it with my mouth. I don't know if I should be doing that. I think this would be a perfect thing to hang in my streaming room from when we play Five Nights at Freddy's on Tuesday at 6 p.m. on Twitch. Ooh. But if you missed any streams, you can always go to the Robbie and Tori YouTube channel and check out all of our fun FNAF videos. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down in the description down below. Anyway, thank you so much for checking out my mask. Luna Ghost just in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bet you like it? I don't think he likes it very much. He's like, what the heck is that thing? Ah, yes. Now time for Sir Captain Foxy. So uh, I was looking at the different nightmare variations and the different scary versions of Foxy. And they all kind of had one thing in common, and that was they had a really big, long mouth. So I had to figure out a way to make his snoot and his mouth a little bit longer. And what I came up with was I'm basically going to put these two masks together. I think I'm just going to cut this part very carefully around his nose, and then hopefully it'll just kind of glue onto this part perfectly. I only have one Foxy mask, so I really hope I don't mess this up. Okay, that's looking pretty good. But does it fit on this thing? We're about to find out. No! Doesn't look like it's fitting as I anticipated. I might have to go up and like this. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look correct. Ah! Definitely has to be more down. Oh boy. I don't know how I'm feeling about that. Ooh, I have an idea. What if I cut the bridge of his nose? Dang, this is gonna be a lot of trial and error. I can already tell. I think I'm gonna have to restructure his nose right here too. So I think I'm just gonna lop this part off. I would almost say at this point I should just cut the whole this part. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that this structure's looking pretty good. I gotta fill in this giant gaping hole in his nose, but you know what? Uh, th that's fine. So now I'm gonna grab this pan, and hopefully I can kind of like recut out the nose with this. This pan is like a turkey baster pan, so it's a little bit bigger than the pie tins we've been using. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna attempt to glue this thing on. Now I'm just using these scissors, like the back end, to kind of push all the metal down. I think I'm gonna start trying to adhere the mask to the mask. Ah, oh, yes, that's looking pretty good. In place. Now I'm gonna build the bridge of his nose and do those weird wiry things using this analed wire. Here we go. I just need it to kind of be in the general shape of his nose. I'm gonna attempt to drill a hole. Yeah, that should do it. Something like that. Just grab our drill. Hopefully that'll just pop right in. Boom! This looks fantastic, so I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it into place. And then on to the next one. Okay, so now I got this uh, kind of like metallic tape stuff. It came with my Roomba, and it's supposed to like outline the floor or whatever, but I'm gonna use it to kind of fill in Foxy's nose a little bit. Oh yes. This is pretty handy, not gonna lie. Some metallic tape. has a nice mirror finish on it. Okay, so I got the metal over the top of the jaw uh, nice and place. That's looking pretty good, not gonna lie. Okay guys, so another thing I think I'm gonna do is uh, get rid of this eye patch up here. That way I can actually put a real eye patch on the actual eye. Anyway, I'm just gonna cut his eye patch off. And now I think I'm just gonna fill it in with some metal. And then I'm gonna start replacing all of his teeth with acrylic nails. Okay guys, it's time to see if these teeth will let the mouth close. Let this close all the way. Okay. 
Okay, I just have to reinforce these teeth a little bit, and I'm gonna add another row of teeth on the inside. Okay, so I ended up adding another row of teeth. It's a little dark, so you can't see him super well back there. Okay, so now I gotta deal with this giant gaping hole in his head. I think what I'm gonna do is take his jaw and use the plastic from this to kind of like flatten it out, fix this little piece. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try my darn best. I'm gonna go ahead and break out my heat gun and uh, maybe just use this to heat it up, and then hopefully I can flatten it. Maybe use another piece of metal. I'm gonna have to say that works. I only really have to do the top of his eyebrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue that on. I'm gonna use the heat gun to maybe form it a little better. When I'm done, I'm gonna add this eye patch to it. I think I'm just gonna make it stop like right here. That's a way better eye patch. And now I'm gonna start painting the metal black. This is how Nightmare Foxy's metal looks. Uh, it's kind of like this darker shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint all the metal parts the same kind of black. I'm just using a Sharpie because it seems to be the easiest thing to use. I also wanna black out his eyes. So now it's time to flock this guy. Flocking is basically making this guy kind of you take a paint or an adhesive like this, you completely cover it, and then you use fibers like this and usually a gun to kind of like blow it onto it. I couldn't get this gun to work. So I just kind of use this uh, sifter instead. I have the right flocking adhesive color, but I just don't have the right flock color, unfortunately. I'm sure it'll be fine. Painting, I'm painting, 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 painting. I'm painting. Honestly, now that I even just painted it red, it's really coming together. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my flocking box. It's just a normal box that I kind of put paper in. That way I don't get flocking everywhere. I'm also wearing a mask during this. That way I don't inhale any of this stuff because apparently it's really bad for you. Boop -boop -boop. This is working swimmingly. There we go. And I'm just going to let this guy dry for a little bit and I'm going to repaint it. Later. I'm not upset with the brown flocking on the red uh, flocking adhesive. It actually makes it feel like it has more of a fur texture. Okay, so I did it again and I blew them off a little bit. That's looking pretty good, not gonna lie. I kind of like the little bit of brown that uh, the felt is left but on. I think I'm gonna give him one more layer of this red. Now I'm gonna detach his ears and then I'm gonna add like a springy metal thing. I don't know what the heck you would call it. And to do that, I'm gonna use one of these pipe clamps. But first we have to detach his ears. I really hope I don't mess this up. I did so much work on them already. There we go, not bad. Okay, let's do the other one. And now we grab our pipe clamp. Undo the entire thing. I'm just gonna take this, glue it right onto this. We'll find out how well this works actually. Okay, very nice. Glue it on the back of here. Okay, let's see how it turned out. Okay. Yeah, actually I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm gonna go in with my Dremel and I'm gonna expose some of the metal that I glued in earlier underneath the plastic of this mask. And lucky for me, Foxy actually has kind of like this uh, big gaping hole in his head right around this. I'm gonna go in and kind of like out this area. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it using this photo. I'm gonna go in with a sharpie and kind of just like make that area darker. If I can use a sharpie. If not, I'm probably gonna end up using paint. Okay guys, and I'm gonna have to say that this mask is pretty much done. So technically Nightmare Foxy doesn't actually have an eye patch, but I kind of want to still put it on him. That way we kind of understand who this man is. And just like that, the eye patch is secure. And now for the last step, and that is to glue in his eye. Stick it right in there. Look how creepy that is when it moves. Go ahead and put in the LED. Look how free Freaking spooky that is. I definitely wouldn't want to be caught alone with this thing. This is definitely a really big improvement over how the mask originally was. I'm gonna have to say that this is probably one of my best masks yet. Let's go show Tori Dobransky. Oh, Tori Dobransky. Hey, Check this out. Ooh. Oh, he looks, I don't want to touch him. He looks very scary. He's just like you. He has red hair. He's pretty cool. Can I wear him? Oh. You're pretty scary. Wow. They're pretty. Honestly, it kind of goes with your hair really well. Not gonna lie. Foxy, the sexiest Five Nights at Freddy's character, for sure. <laughs> Pretty cool, I really like him. This looks so much better than like what it started as. I also do want to tell you his eyes are gold. I didn't have any gold eyes. It's not canonically correct, I messed up. Ah, 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 beat me, he beat me. No, I'm just kidding, it's fine. Ah! Oh, hey, is there a country superstar in here? Me? Yeah, I'm a country superstar. Are you a country superstar that likes Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh, dude, this is sick. You made this, dude? I made it from a really crummy looking mask. Here, let me show you the original really quick. Show me the original. So this is what it originally looked like. And how did you make it, it more three-dimensional? I basically took another mask and I added it to that mask. So this is more than one mask. This, this is like a Frankenstein. Yes, yeah, so it's a Frankenstein of masks. Dude, this is so good. It's scary, bro. I woke up and saw this in the middle of the night. <laughs> I would be terrified. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
They're actually sharp. You smashed it. High five, buddy. Thanks, man. Now time to add you to the collection. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give a big old thumbs up. It looks like this right, right down there. If you guys like this video, you guys will watch me do even more Five Nights at Freddy's crafts. I actually have an entire playlist that you can watch right here. I also make Freddy from another animatronic. Go check it out. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm Winnie. Okay, bye. Ah!